In this example, I have two features that I need to connect with a piece of tubing. And I want to point out that we've got some sketch geometry in here driving one end of how I want the transition to go, as well as the profile for the tube and some axes and work points that I want to use to harness and direct the uh, 3D sketch. So we'll start by turning off uh, some features that we don't need to see while we're working make things a little bit easier on ourselves turn off the profile sketch because I don't need it as well as turn off the the connection log on the other end I'll turn the view a little bit so we can get a clear pick on geometry we need start a 3D sketch and we can go to include geometry and pick any of the geometry we need to include I'm going to include this segment and that's it as I start a line and pick, Inventor will automatically snap to work features that it finds or included geometry as I go. Go up and apply some col uh, collinear constraint to the at work axes. Dimension those line segments. Here, I want to point out that while I could dimension that segment, I can also dimension the endpoints which is the overall length that I'm actually after. I'm going to go ahead and just dimension this segment. Any geometry that we include that's not set as construction is going to get picked up in the profile. We come back in and add 3D bends and finish the sketch. I'll turn on the profile for the outside edge of the tubing. We'll apply a sweep. Change the profile for to a surface. Pick the path. And done. Notice that extra segment that we don't need. It's actually going to create problems later on. One thing we can do is go back into the sketch. And just go ahead and delete these segments. Change the included geometry to construction. And then add a line from that endpoint to endpoint. Apply constraint again. Apply the overall dimension needed. Grab a 3D bend and make and adjust the radius. And there it is, nice and clean. Now, as I mentioned in the article, how well this updates, I'm going to come back in to this parameter, which has the offset for the end of the tube. I want to add 27 millimeters for a hinge joint. I'm going to update. Everything updates very smoothly throughout all the assemblies 